This is Ken Rockwell with KenRockwell.com and KenRockwell.tv. Let's take a look at the brand new Fujifilm Fujinon GF 50mm f3.5 lens for their new GFX series of ultra-high-resolution medium format cameras. This is a relatively inexpensive, compact, take-everywhere normal lens, which admittedly, if you're a good photographer for landscapes and nature, could be the only lens you ever actually need. Let's take a look. What's intriguing is you'll notice the box is white, much like the new iPhone box, the Apple iPhone 11 that just showed up. The iPhone 11 Pro Max is in a black box for the first time in about 10 years. I now see a white box from Fujinon, where it used to ship everything in black boxes up to last week. Let's take a look inside. It's a cardboard box, little micro corrugated cardboard. Ah, we have an owner's manual in about a hundred different languages. You can read that offline. Warranty network. Here is a little bag, a Fujifilm official little cloth sack to store your fancy dancy little lens in. You could also use a tube sock, or honestly, I just throw mine in my spare pocket of my jacket when I'm out in the field shooting. I try to take ever more than two lenses, so there's one on the camera and one on my jacket, and I am ready to go. Camera bags are for uh, camera collectors. Anyway, here's a useless piece of cardboard that's here for no known reason. An interesting little gizmo that comes with this lens is this thing that's called a hood, but I don't really consider it a hood, but then I don't really use hoods either. This has a 62 millimeter thread. It's an all metal, beautifully well-made device. It has a 43 millimeter opening here, Although, there are no threads, so it can't be used to adapt 43 millimeter filters. This little guy is a hood, and I'll show you how that works just a moment later. Here's our lens. Nothing really difficult here. This is formed pulp. Here's our lens. It's beautiful stereo sound. It's a 62 millimeter cap. There's the front. There is the back. It is made domestically in Japan, thank goodness. It's not offshore to someplace else to save them money, but not for you. It has an all-metal filter ring. You'll notice the glass is tiny. And actually, there's only this much that actually works through the lens. The other ring of glass is purely for show, for marketing, so people don't think they got ripped off, because otherwise the lens would look not like you're used to seeing. The way this hood works, it's not really a hood, because it doesn't provide much protection. This is a normal angle lens, and you'll notice that you can see through this angle, it's still not protected. It should be bigger. But hey, it's cute, and harkens back to the old days of uh, some rangefinder camera lenses. You can run around like this. You can't, unfortunately, screw a filter in there. You can't put 43 millimeter filters in. But that's your choice. Honestly, I won't use it that way. I'm going to throw a 62 filter on here and call it a day. This is the focus ring. It's rubber, covered metal. The rest of this is all metal. Here's your aperture ring, which is a beauty. It's got third stop clicks. The clicks are a little bit tighter on each of the full stops, so you can still find it by feel. But to be honest, it's not that much stiffer at the full stops. It's as if the guy designing it wasn't sure if he was supposed to do that or not, so he was very gentle with how much more deep the clicks are at the full stops. You have to press this release button to get it into the A, the automatic mode, or press it again to get into the C, which is controlled at the camera as opposed to being controlled by the aperture ring for manual settings. So this lens offers the best of all worlds. Direct fixed setting of the apertures, automatic control from the camera for either shutter priority or program, or C, where you make the settings on the camera for uh, young people that don't remember the good old days when lenses actually had controls on them. You've got your focal length marked. Here's your mount with all electronic contacts, which were originally invented by Canon back in 1987 for their EF lens system, which everyone else copies today. And that is basically it. This is a very well-made lens, made domestically in Japan. The markings are all engraved and filled with paint, and this is a beautiful thing. And this is the Fujinon 50mm at 3.5 lens for their medium format cameras. It offers an equivalent focal length on the 35mm format of about 40 millimeters, or in other words, dead normal. This is what all lenses should be for normal lens. And that's it. That's this lens as seen on KenRockwell.com and KenRockwell.tv.